Energy fam, how we feeling? Man, today's an exciting one because we will be doing something to the tank that we've been wanting to do for a very long time. We've been manually dosing up to this point, but today we will be adding a doser. Are you tired of the constant strain you put on yourself day in, day out? The constant pains of dosing every single day, living in the unknown, not even knowing how much dosing liquid you have left, or if it's time to order more solution, or hoping that you're doing all of this correctly so your tank can thrive. Well, I'm here to tell you, it's time to grab a doser. Now there are many out there, so do your research and pick the one that fits your needs best for your aquarium. And hey, you owe it to yourself. Get back to the way things used to be before you had an aquarium and make time for the things that mean most to you and make your life that much better. Now, before having a doser, I've been manually dosing our secret potion to help keep the tank thriving. And what could that secret potion be, you may ask? A lot of people dose a lot of different things, so please don't let me be the only source of what you should dose for your tank. And without further ado, the secret potion that I've been dosing, All For Reef by Tropic Marine. Now, All For Reef combines a couple of different things in it, so it's an all-in-one liquid or powder that you can mix into liquid to dose to your aquarium. Now, this one here doses calcium, magnesium, KH, and trace elements. We're not gonna go too heavy on what's in here. Feel free to take a picture, hit Google, and you can do your research on that end. And without further ado, let's get this doser installed. Let's get under the tank, come on. Easiest installation, one screw for the bracket that attaches to the doser, slide the doser on, and we're good to go. Now, the tubing that you see coming from the doser, I actually clipped from my RLDI system, and we didn't need much, so why not? Now, the doser is being fed directly from the bottom by this Voss bottle. I installed a small bulkhead on top of the cap by drilling a hole into the cap and then screwing in the bulkhead. We'll be sure to leave the link in the description for your convenience. I want to give a quick peek of the app that I'm using to control this doser. This doser is running off the Mobius app, which has been really convenient to see things like your dosing schedule, when you need to refill your dosing solution, and a couple more things. Right here on the top of the screen, you can see a picture of our tank. Now this first little box right here on the left side shows how much of our solution will be dispensed and during which times. Now the dosing schedule, you just click into it and on this side bar right here, you can choose when the dosing starts and when it ends. Now right here where it says dosage, you can actually select how much you'll be dosing per day. Every tank will be different and I feel like the best way to figure out what you're dosing is by checking your alkalinity every single day for a week to see how much your tank is consuming. Every tank is different, so be sure that you're dosing the correct amount for your tank. Now the second box on the right shows that our container is empty, as you can see in this menu as well. And once you do add solution, you can set your container volume. That's how much the Voss bottle holds. So once I do fill it all the way up, I'll input that and then we'll be good to go. And just like that, we're in the game. Now this Mobius app controls multiple devices, whatever you have synced up to it. Right now I only have the Ecotech Marine Versa doser on it but there are quite a few pieces of gear that will sync to this app as well. The dashboard is clean, nice, simple, and it's getting the job done for us. And now to our tank update. The topic at hand, green hair algae. We've been battling green hair algae now for a couple months and we haven't been too aggressive on it. We've done some manual removal and check them out. We've added this Fiji Fox face to the tank. Right when we dropped him in, he got right to work. What it do, little mama, I see you. We also added this emerald crab, and you see him getting to it with the algae that's stuck on him. Now I see it float away, and I'm not too concerned. As long as he's picking it off the rocks, it's making its way back into filtration, so he's definitely helping us as well. Now the rocks on this side of the tank were completely covered in green hair algae, and right now it seems to be thinning out. I'm hoping this progress will continue. I've only been doing one water change a week, which has been a 10 gallon water change on a 50 gallon system. I'm sure if we got a little more aggressive, we could probably knock this stuff all the way out. But we're in this for the long run, and I'm curious to see if we can beat this green hair algae without dosing any products that fight green hair algae. Always nice to see turbo snails getting to work. 
these rocks were completely covered as well. We got our conch snail on the bottom getting to it. And a lot of other members of the cleanup crew that you can't see are putting in their time as well. Now a side view of these rocks to show how the algae has kind of faded away. And it's been looking like this for a couple weeks now. So I'm thinking maybe we're onto something good here. And this is where we're at. This is a quick update. I'm looking forward to doing a full in-depth review once we do finally rid of the green hair algae. And you know what's interesting? I'm thinking maybe this algae grew on the rocks because this rock is new. Now, before I started this channel, I redid my rockscape and this was all dry rock. So something's bound to grow on dry rock when you introduce it to the tank. So maybe this is what that is because the green hair algae touched every rock in the system. Now, maybe the coralline algae is building up on the rock and it's not giving it a place to grow, which I'm loving. But I mean, that's just a theory. If you have any ideas of why you think the algae may be going away, feel free to drop them below. Talk to us. Let me know what worked for you when you got rid of green hair algae, if you had to go through that battle. All in all, I'm loving where the tank's at. As long as the coral and the fish are good, we are straight. And just like that, man, we're gonna wrap this one up. Definitely looking forward to the future, of course. Definitely looking forward to no green hair algae. Getting back to that pristine, like we said once before, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate you guys always, Energy Fam. It's big love. Thank you for the check-in. Thank you for locking in with us. Hit that subscribe, slap that bell on, throw a comment down below, man. Looking forward to more updates, looking forward to more videos, and we'll definitely catch you guys on the next one. Y'all take care and we'll see you soon. Peace.